February is Heart Health Month. For one Sioux Falls man, a decision to do a heart screening saved his life because he needed a quadruple bypass. In tonight's Eye on Keveland, Julia Lynn shares how he is now using his experience to help other patients at Stanford. Although members of Jim Slater's family had experiences with heart disease, it was a first time for him. My father had three heart attacks before he passed. My mother has a pacemaker, and then I have an older brother that has had a six bypass. That's why Slater decided to get screened at the El Riyadh Shrine through Stanford's $25 mobile heart screening. I realized that my calcium level was 840, something like that, which is not good. Um, you're supposed to be between zero and 100. Leading up to that discovery, Slater didn't feel any symptoms. I felt really good. I was walking five miles a day. I was doing everything that I like to do. You know, I, I was very, very active. Um, had really no signs of, of any uh, tiredness, short of breath, any of that kind of stuff. Tom Stish, a cardiology specialist at Sanford, says it's lucky Slater got checked when he did. Unfortunately, symptoms can be so subtle, or none in fact, until something really bad happens that patients frequently don't realize. It is a very treatable and preventable disease, but we need to know about it. Shortly after Slater received his test results, he was scheduled for open heart surgery. Fortunately, we identified a condition that could have resulted in a very bad outcome. Heart attack, cardiac arrest, sudden death, and we're able to prevent it by uh, treating the disease. After surgery, Slater says doctors stressed how important it is to keep active. So after fixing the severe disease, the next step is to prevent farther plaque buildup. Because whether it's stenting, whether it's bypass surgery, that only fix damage done or blockages that have formed. But the blockage formation process will continue unless you intervene and do something differently. Whether it's walking, whether it's riding a bicycle, whether it's doing anything else, they want you to keep active. Um, I guess I took a different step and I became a valet. Slater's experience encouraged him to become a valet for Stanford's patients. He gets more than 10,000 steps a day while on the job. I knew that since I retired, I became a little, a little bit lax in my, in my activities. And the other thing is, is that I really wanted to be around people again and do, doing what I like to do and be, be in front of people and helping people. It's also his way of giving back. So that gives me an opportunity. If somebody has a question or, or, or seems a little nervous and they'll uh, at least let me know what, they're got, what they have going on, I can at least tell them, you know, it's going to be easy not to worry about it. As for advice from doctors on what to look for to prevent heart disease, they say you know your body best. When I get that question of what symptoms to watch out is always, if it crosses your mind something is not right, don't think twice, pick up the phone and, and call for help. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Julia Lynn. Stanford will be offering genetic testing as part of the routine wellness screening soon. With a simple blood test, they'll be able to tell a person's genetic likelihood of having coronary artery disease.